You're now listening to the female hosted podcast, Drea's Point of View. All episodes are 10 minutes or less, three days a week. The Pod Breed Network is strictly for the small podcasts that are up and coming in the vast world of podcasting. Podbreed is made up of many diverse podcasts coming together to achieve the same goal of being the best damn podcast network on the planet. Find out more at podbreed.com. There was Sonny and Cher, Ashford and Simpson, and now the War and Treaty, or the Trotters. This episode was inspired by the host of Q Points podcast. I got a chance to meet J. Ray and DJ Sir Daniel, who did an episode as part of their country music series talking about Tanya Blunt. If you've seen Sister Act 2, she sang His Eyes on the Sparrow. She had a hit called Through the Rain as well. Interestingly enough, I didn't hear anything else from her after that until I was introduced to the war and the treaty. This is Drea's Point of View, and I am your hostess, Drea. You can find this show at Drea Point on Twitter and at Drea's Point of View on Clubhouse, IG, Pinterest, and Facebook. If you subscribe, you can get notifications of a new episode. So The War and the Treaty is a duo of Tanya Trotter and her husband, Michael. The name came about in 2017 after numerous name changes. Tanya said, this is a war, Mike. Let's come to some kind of treaty here. They have a couple of projects out, and each one is different. They performed last year on the Country Music Awards, probably the only award show I don't watch, with Dierks Bentley, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. This year, they performed on the 56th Annual Country Music Awards and released an EP the same day. In 2019, the Warren Treaty won Emerging Artist of the Year at the American Music Awards, and in 2020, they won Artist of the Year at Folk Alliance International. If I had to describe their sound, it's a mix of country, folk, and bluegrass. My favorite songs from them are Love Like There's No Tomorrow, If It's In Your Heart, and Lonely In My Grief. The duo has a Lover's Game Tour next year and will be going to 35 cities. Tickets are $26 plus fees at intimate venues, so be sure to check them out at their website, thewarandtreaty.com. Before I go, I wanted to mention there are a lot of tours coming next year to look forward to, including Anita Baker, New Edition, Beyonce, and Jill Scott. Congratulations to salt and Peppa for finally getting their star on the Walk of Fame. Please don't forget to subscribe to my show so that you don't miss any of the shows that I have to present. I love you so much for listening. This has been Drea's Point of View. Leave a review. Tell a friend. And make sure you subscribe to Dreyer's Point of View. Until next time.